Welcome to the final game at level 10 for Leyland Albion. This is the English Northwest Counties Division 1 North fixture between Presswich Hayes, managed by Adam Farrell, and Leyland Albion. We are over at Sandgate Road. Our referee is Simon Mather. And as you will notice, there are a couple of new faces in the Leyland Albion team. So we've made some signings ahead of next season. We've actually been given a pretty decent budget, about one and a half grand a week on players. So we've signed the likes of Connor Finlayson, snapped him up from AFC Blackpool, 31 goals to his name this season. Up front, we've got Tom Dawson. He scored 28 for the Holker Old Boys, so who they ran us close for the title. They're only five points behind us now because we drew our last game against Pilkington. He has come in to partner uh, the great Connor Coma up front. So they're making their debuts in today's game. So this is our last game, as I said, in the league. So it's a nice time for them to come in. No pressure. We've won the league. That's in the bag already. You saw that earlier in the week. And since then, uh, we've just been quietly looking at players. A lot of players being uh, brought in on trials. And uh, we've obviously signed the two uh, scorers there in Finlayson and uh, Tom Dawson. Whether they come good in this first game, there's no pressure on them. Not too worried about that. Hulker Old Boys, who uh, are second in the league. Good effort there by Coma. Uh, they are away from home today. Uh, they're over at Garstang, um, who we beat 5-0 uh, in our first game at this level. So a bit of a, uh, a circle being filled there. We are up against Presswich, who are about mid-table. Not uh, pulling up any trees, really. But it is very interesting to see the likes of St. Helens Town are on a fantastic run. I think they're now 20 games unbeaten. Uh, and they've gone above AFC Berry in the uh, league table. Russell on the ball here for Prestwich. Straight into the box though with Wright. But cleared upfield. It's coming back in. And Wright clips the outside of the post with his effort. This is uh, much like the actual game we played against Lower Breck uh, last week. Bit of a free hit for us. There's no real uh, pressure on us. We've got the league title in the bag. We're blooding these new players, giving them a bit of experience as Contacos comes out. Uh, he is well aware that we're looking at other goalkeepers for next season. So I expect him to try and impress. Not sure about that distribution, though. As AFC Berry are behind to Daisy Hill. Bit of a surprise there. I have been quite impressed with the players that we've brought in on trials to have a look at. A lot of them have got some really good pedigree uh, of uh, title winning experience, including in the National League North. I can't remember the player off the top of my head himself, but um, we've been looking at so many. I think at one time we had, I think it was seven. Uh, trialists at the club and they just keep coming in we're just having a look all the time the scouting um, news items that come through as coma fires wide well, uh, sorry the scouting meetings we do have a really good look at uh, and see who um, who is there who's available and if they've sort of brought themselves to our attention uh, that's as far as we're concerned that's fair game uh, in the old Sunday League to Legend rules. So they can be brought in uh, to have a good look at and see if they're any good. As Wright again goes close. Another goal in the uh, Northwest County Division 1 North. Uh, I'm not going to get tired of having to say that again. As Forbes earns a corner kick. Nil nil. Pretty good game here. Very competitive. A real uh, end of season feel to it. Bit of freedom about there as Walker's going to recycle possession. Now there's the tackle, but we've got to throw in high up the pitch. Not going to lead to a highlight on this occasion. Lower Breck have had Bromley go off injured in their game. That's Frazier with a big throw in here, but it's cleared up to Dawson. Big danger man. Let's see what he can do. 
Walker, Tacoma, round the goalkeeper, but good defending. Here we are. More uh, recommendations by our assistant manager. Bennett with the clearance all the way upfield now. Churi on the ball. Bennett again. This time it's flashed wide. Press switch really uh, doing a good job here as Ashton Town. They've got a goal now to take the lead. Uh, they've got two actually. They lead 2 0 at home as Churi again is leading the charge upfield. Now Bennett. Can he find the pass? It's into right, but it's cleared. Well done by the Leyland Albion defence. Another good sliding tackle. You can just see a goal coming here for Presswich, which is fine. Oh, and here's Dawson. He's through. Dawson does not miss. Tom Dawson's 29th of the season. A goal on his debut provided by Josh Ede. Uh, Dawson gets the better of his man, gets a run in, clean on goal. I think if he wants to square it across, no, he's not really got the option, has he? But he chips it over the goalkeeper, sits him down. And that is a nice way to open your account for Leyland Albion. Ede now competing with Jackman. He's going to come in though. Cheery. And there's the equaliser. Matt Wright. An immediate reply by Prestwich. Nothing that I think we could do about that. Really good delivery by uh, Fraser. I think it is. Over the top to Cheery. Inside it goes. And then Wright just gets a couple of yards on his man. And that's all he needs to steer the ball home into the back of the net. All of a sudden, we've gone from no goals to two. Similar story with Ashton Town. Finlayson has picked up a booking. Now, he is actually more of an attacking midfielder or a striker. So, it's something we're going to have to look at for next year. The uh, news on the striker front is that Connor Comer uh, has had uh, basically. Um, I'm far from pleased. There we go. Let's motivate a few players. Connor, um, our striker who scored, what is he, 56 goals this season? Uh, he is uh, subject to a few different uh, contract offers on the table for him. Uh, we've also laid one on uh, so that um, he gets improved terms with us. Again, no wage for him but a pretty big uh, three-figure appearance bonus for him. Hopefully that will convince him to stay. Don't want to lose him, uh, but if we do, obviously we've got the likes of Dawson that's just come in. Uh, they uh, He might have to suddenly take over the mantle of our top scorer. We've also got Finlayson that can play up front, as can Harry Walker. He's done that this season as well. So we are blessed with a few different options just in case our number one man decides uh, to fly the coop as Dawson goes for goal wide on this occasion 3-0 now Ashton Town it's Bain with a hat trick as Berry AFC have equalized ball cleared now Ede with the cross it's not a great one though is it and a press switch a spring forward they're looking for the counter, but it's Dobson that's going to clear. Walker now on the ball. Over the top, it's straight into the arms of Saunders. He's not going to make a mistake there. Big ball downfield. Again, Walker involved. Look at this. Look at the run and the strike. Turned around by the goalkeeper. So we're on the hour mark here. We've got a corner. Short one we play. We've never played a short corner in the history of Sunday Elite Legend. And it went out of play. Of course it did. Why would they do that? So not many players uh, hitting the heights. Uh, and in fact, Finlayson not doing brilliantly. But I'm going to send a message here to Conor Coma. I'm going to say that his namesake, uh, Finlayson, probably could be the man to take over his mantle. In central midfield, we're going to bring on Barlow. So this is going to be his last game for us. Uh, before he retires so let's give him a farewell appearance here against press which last game of the season he's been all right for us barlow and um, he's on a bit too much in terms of wage as far as i'm concerned but 
Uh, he's not let us down, I have to say, despite his advancing years. I think he's 37. As Churi just turns the ball wide. Uh, the Hulk Roll boys are behind against Garstang. So they are losing thanks to a goal by Christie on the 62nd minute. Lower Breck only can draw at the moment. So plenty of action around the league on this final day. As again it's Walker. Doesn't get the ball right this time though. He's much better getting on it and running at the opposition. Scares them. As there he goes with another long ball clearance. This time again it's aimless. Come on Walker, you're better than that son. You've got 24 goals this season. Here's Finlayson with the layoff to Walker. Over the top for the AF, former AFC Blackpool man. And it's clear off the line. Good play by the defence. Spotted the danger. Uh, Murphy. No, I'm not going to take him off just yet. I do want to bring on, uh, just for his farewell, Dave Stanley. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off Dobson, who's obviously picked up a booking. And bring on Stanley, as it looks like. Uh, Wright was flagged offside. Stanley does get a warm reception. Uh, he is bidding farewell along with Barlow. We've already had Richard Pell, another defender for us this season. He's retired already. Um, so nothing really we could do about it. Especially with Pell. He was uh, out of nowhere. Uh, suddenly decided that he was going to uh, jack everything in. Uh, uh, Hulk Roll Boys now 2 0 down. So whatever happens here, uh, we are going to end up with that five point advantage. At least. Meanwhile, AFC Liverpool winning their game. How are... Let's, hold on, I want to see AFC Berry and see how they're doing, considering that they were behind early on. And here's Ed A on the ball. Great little runner. Good lad. Gets in there. And it's there. Tom Dawson, his 30th of the season, seals the win. All three points are coming back to Fox Lane. Leyland Albion going over. Prestwich Hayes. Ed A with the ball through. Bit of a confusion there. Keeper dives, uh, but it's blocked and it falls back at Dawson's feet. Left foot volley into the back of the net. A fantastic play. And I think we'll just make one final substitution. Uh, I'm going to bring on... It's going to be old Diego. Because I think he deserves just to get a few minutes on the pitch. I'll bring him on for Ed A. He's been somebody who's played well for us this season. Not really got the plaudits, to be honest. Uh, stepped out like house on fire, but then went off the ball just a little bit. As uh, Beasley offside, and that'll be game over. Dawson has been sensational. Here we are. A bit of a, a lap of honour at the end of the day. Possibly press switch. Because I seem to remember that we did that in the last game, back at Fox Lane. That was indeed a good result. And as we await the media reaction, of course, it'll be copious. The plan uh, next week is to look at uh, the other leagues and see what happened. I can tell you, a bit of a spoiler, Pep Guardiola has been sacked sensationally by Manchester City. So uh, old Pep, not quite uh, cutting the mustard there this season for City. I do know that Liverpool won the Premier League. That's the other spoiler that I'm going to give you. Uh, they will have then retained their Premier League. Um, second year in a row under Jurgen Klopp. And due to the fact that City missed out, I don't quite know where they finished in the league, I have to be honest. Uh, but there was a bit of a news item that came through saying that Pep uh, had picked up the old pink slip and would be uh, checking in out the, uh, the Labour Exchange. Perhaps not for the former Barcelona Bayern Munich and Manchester City boss. Fairly sure he's uh, he's set with a few quid at the minute. The plan for us is to, as I said, look at the other leagues uh, and then continue on this um, two episode a week schedule. Um, I think it probably works better for me as well because I'm, I'm not rushing to get uh, recordings done and then sort of follow up with a little bit of editing. I don't do a lot to be honest. Uh, but there is a little bit uh, that goes into producing the episodes, as you can imagine, and then uploading to YouTube. 
everything that goes into that as well. But we will look at, there'll be the roundup episode of everything else that's happened in the universe. The created world in uh, in Sunday League to Legend. And then we'll have a look at the following season. Um, we need to sign some players because I'm sure that given the success that we've had, some of our lads will have attracted attention. We have had uh, a few over the season receive contract offers. Uh, the fullbacks uh, spring to mind immediately. Jamie Forbes, Thomas Murphy. They both turned down offers to leave. Connor Comer, um, our striker, he has um, turned down several different offers uh, to go. Um, Berry AFC did get the win. By the way, right, right at the end there, uh, McDevitt uh, in the 94th minute picking up a 2-1 win against Daisy Hill. And there you go. Um, we obviously did the same thing uh, in added time. So we'll have to see who's available, who meets our criteria. So when we set out from the beginning, we started with um, three rules for transfers. One was if we'd played them. So the likes of Connor Finlayson, Tom Dawson, they counted as that because uh, we'd obviously played both AFC Blackpool and uh, the Hulker Old Boys uh, this season and both played well uh, against us. Uh, the other options are whether they um, come to us, so they appear on the scouting report as uh, approaching the club directly, either themselves or their agent, uh, the player. And then the third option is obviously if one of our scouts or staff brings a player to my attention. And at that point, um, we can indeed consider signing a player um, so we'll just have a quick look at the news items here. Uh, Dawson with a debut to remember. Two goals for him. Uh, really pleased uh, with that. Man of the match, as you would expect. Two dribbles, two passes, uh, key passes and two goals. Uh, again, this is St. Helens Town. Talked about them having a really good um, season uh, just right at the end here. So they've won 2-1 against Golka, who are no uh, shrinking violets themselves. So St. Helen uh, Town obviously for now finish fifth place above the likes of Berry AFC and AFC Blackpool. Uh, so the top four here in our league, uh, ourselves on 88 points. The Hulker Old Boys, 80 points now, eight back. Nelson in third uh, on 73, so another seven point drop off there. Then Lower Breck got really close. If you consider that they got six points from us, for example, uh, pretty well, pretty good going for them. Uh, down to the next little lot, we've got AFC Darwin, expected to do better than that. Uh, Ashton Town and AFC Liverpool, Golka slip out of the top 10 just on the last day there. Presswich and Pilkington, yeah, bit of uh, middle of the road along with Chadderton, uh, end on 33 points. Then just down at the bottom, we've got Steeton back up Garstang, I would have liked to have seen them a bit higher up. Daisy Hill and Cleetor Moore, just 21 points, five wins and six draws uh, to their name. Uh, we are due to receive £10,000 uh, £10, for achieving first place. The board are understandably delighted. Uh, there is a bit of a collective bonus to pay out. Uh, I don't often look at the um, this scouting um, menu because why would I? You know, we've got rules about transfers here, but it will just show us the um, financial impact of what the board has decided. So um, because we got our promotion pretty quick, uh, that meant that we had a few weeks in advance for us to pursue players. And that's why uh, I've made moves straight away for the likes of Connor Finlayson uh, and Tom Dawson. I would also like to have a look at Chris Almond. Um, who is a player also at um, the Hulker Old Boys. I think he's a really good player. So yeah, as you can see, the wage budget just at the top here, 1.26 um, K a week uh, remaining. Is that remaining? Yeah, it is, because we're spending some like 587 per week on wages. Uh, and, that's, uh, and the full wage budget is 1.85 K um, a week. Uh, so these are the types of players that we uh, we get coming to us. Uh, Greg Rutherford there telling me that he's available. He goes part of the Aloha side who finished runners-up in the SPFL Trust Trophy 
I, I don't think that's a ringing endorsement of him. Uh, Matthew Fuertado, 19-year-old fullback. He thinks he'll be one of the better players in the first team. I don't see it, to be honest. And so those are the kinds of players that we sort of come to my attention. Uh, and so that is the end of level 10. Done. In the bag. We are champions. And in fact, can we see uh, in our trophy cabinet? Let's see if that's been there. There we have it. The Northwest Counties Division 1 North. We have a trophy here at Leyland Albion. Uh, I would just like to very quickly thank, obviously, the FM editor uh, for the uh, database uh, down over to level 10 and FM custom kits for these lovely shirts that we've got. So we've got the home kit in the traditional claret and blue away shirt of white with the uh, claret and blue stripe and then a third kit containing uh, black and gold. The sponsor there, John Fishwick and Sons, uh, a former bus company, uh, went out of business uh, quite a few years ago now um, in the Leyland area. Um, and of course, we are our stadium is Fox Lane, which probably needs a bit of an upgrade considering 500 capacity and just 50 seated, just a few plastic chairs out. Our training ground is Worden Park. That's a local uh, public park for everybody. If you're ever in Leyland, do uh, have a look around there. It does have a little model train thing um, and a bit of crazy golf. I mean, who doesn't love crazy golf? But there you have it. So the season is over. We have triumphed. Level 10, tick it off. Up next, it's level 9. So next two episodes, we'll look at the wider world. Uh, in the game and see how other leagues have done, what teams have got promotion, what teams have got relegated, because they've pretty much all finished now. That's the one of the, the funny things about this. The non-league teams have actually gone on a little bit longer due to the fact that the league started later. So all that's already done. So we'll have a quick look at everybody else who qualified for Europe, who's gone up from the championship. That's always uh, an interesting one. Who's gone from the National League? Uh, into the Football League. I uh, always like seeing uh, teams go up. And then we'll have another episode where we look at the transfers, the player turnover. You know it's going to be big. You know, we're down at level 10. Players aren't on money a week. They're on appearance fees. So you can just imagine that players being poached left, right and centre. And if you have a very quick look at Connor Coma, this may be the last time that we see him. As you can see, there's a bid in from Nelson. What will be disappointing for me is if he leaves to a club in our division. Um, he's also the top assist um, provider in the division with 20, 21 overall. Uh, as you can see, the man is uh, has been a fantastic servant for us. Previously with Bolton Wanderers, um, he was one that came over from Atherton when we took their place in the league in the Northwest Counties Division 1 North. But yeah, 52 goals this season. Uh, 20 assists. This is just his league stats, obviously. Uh, 15 times player of the match. A 7.95 rating. Um, really impressive stuff from him. Thank you for being part of this journey. We have achieved what we set out to at the very beginning. We have conquered level 10. And next, level 9. I'll see you then.